so CFI's been receiving reports directly and indirectly of spotted lanternfly? I, you know, I don't think nervous is the right word. I think apprehensive. Um, it's, it's kind of like we're waiting to see. The Canadian Food Inspection Agency is confirming at least two reports of spotted lanternfly sightings. The spotted lanternfly is the invasive species, originally from Asia, that was accidentally introduced to North America and has been making its way up through the U.S. toward Canada. The insect is known for feeding on over 100 species of plant with a particular appetite for soft fruit and grape vines. That has growers right across Ontario watching what happens next very closely. We're concerned about it mainly because we don't have any experience with it at all. Norm Beal, president of Peninsula Ridge Winery in Beamsville, says growers here have already been in contact with their American counterparts to see what's been working. It affects all tender fruits, so pears, apples, plums, peaches, so it could have devastating effect here in Niagara. They tend to swarm, um, so you can get very heavy feeding. Um, they have a, kind of a, a beak and they use that to um, stab the plant. So basically they're, they're sapping the vine of its sugars and that's, that's bad for, for the grapevines and for other plants that they feed on as well. It's something Mike Fiore knows all too well. He runs his family winery in Maryland near the Pennsylvania border and has been battling the spotted lanternfly for about five years. We reached him in his vineyard Thursday morning by phone. <laughs> We're trying to eliminate them before they, 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 they eliminate us. Fiore is urging us to take the threat seriously. He says the insect cost him $300,000 to get under control, forcing him to rip out 10 rows of vine, about 1,000 plants, and burn them. Something he describes as devastating. Last year, that infestation that we had last year was almost like unbearable. One day, I come in there and, uh, you know, there were like billions all over the tree. We have been preparing for this pest. Um, would we like more time? Of course we would, but we do have uh, response plans available. We're now in the position where we do have some treatments available. What actually happens at wineries now that one may have been okay, spotted? So we, uh, we've been monitoring the spotted man lantern fly now for several years. So there are stations all over Niagara. They're keeping a, a, an eye out for these things. So far, the reported sightings have been in Fort Erie and Ford Drive in Oakville. The CFIA will now be looking to confirm the sightings by obtaining a live specimen. In Beamsville, David Zura, City News.